talk about some amazing photography opportunities that you can join Christine and I in 2015 and beyond. Last fall, Christine and I joined McKay Photography Academy in Italy and had an amazing time. The photographic opportunities, the general travel experience, the food, all of it was just wonderful. This past January, we went to Montana and Yellowstone, and again, an amazing trip. The, photo the photography of the animals on that trip, the scenery in Yellowstone, really just, again, amazing. It's hard to come up with other superlatives for these trips. And it's clear now after doing two, I feel very comfortable in saying this, that the McKay Photography Academy knows what they're doing. They put together these trips and these itineraries at these locations that, again, give you amazing photographic opportunities, but also just wonderful travel experience, whether it is taking you slightly off the beaten path or hiring the guides with some color and some flavor to them and give you a more ex better, a, a more interesting experience than you would have otherwise. So I want to talk about some opportunities for future trips that you can join Christine and I on. We've now had fans um, come on the Yellowstone trip and that was, an, that was also lovely and no, no longer fans but friends. And so we hope that more of you out there will join us on some of these future trips and I just want to talk about some of them. The first up the big one, and I'm not going in chronological order here because some of the trips I'm going to mention are just McKay Photography Academy trips, but the ones that you can join Christine and I are going to talk about first because I feel like those are the specialists. The first is Greece. We are headed to Greece next September, and I couldn't be more excited, both to compare and contrast the history uh, with Italy, but also the photographic opportunities there. Now, there are just a few spots available left for this trip, so if you're interested, you do need to sign up very soon. I want to give you just a quick rundown of the itinerary uh, as you watch this video from their previous trip to Greece. And I'll also say this too, as I was watching this video, I recognized people that had come on the Montana trip, Keith and Peggy. And I and that reminded me, just looking around and hearing about these trips and starting to meet more of the participants, how many of them are return participants. The number is large, and that right there says something that's very special about these trips and why people keep returning to them. Now, in Greece, I'm going to start in Athens, and that's where I'm really excited to see this history. I mean, we are talking ancient history literally. And so to be able to photograph that and experience that is very exciting. And then on down to Santorini. Now Santorini is probably what you think of when you think of photography in Greece. It is these classic white buildings, blue rooftops, perched on the cliffs overlooking the Aegean Sea and that crystal blue water that is just gorgeous. So again, awesome opportunities and David and co have been there. They know where to take you to get the shots. They know when to go to get the shots. And that is what one of the things that separates this from one doing it yourself or just trying to do a general vacation and traveling with family. Usually around dinner time, family wants to sit down and eat. But when you are traveling with a photographic tour like this, the schedule is built around the light and the time of day that the light is gorgeous, we are out shooting, and we find the other times to eat and enjoy ourselves, and there are plenty of that as well. From Santorini, Sykonos. This is a tiny town of just 250 people, well off the beaten path. You get away from everything touristy, and you really experience true Greece, and some place called Folagrandos. Now, I'm probably not pronouncing that exactly correctly, but again, another beautiful location some of those gorgeous Greek beaches all available to you for photo photography and just general enjoyment. So that's Greece. That's September of this year. Two to three spots available. Link right below to get on the mailing list and to tell David that you're interested in signing up. The next trip that I want to talk about is New Zealand. And this is actually in 2016. This is in end of January, early February 2016. And again, I was starting to read down through the itinerary, and I know a little bit about New Zealand, North Island, South Island, and that it's a beautiful location where all of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies were filmed. Gorgeous scenery. That I know. As I was working my way down through the itinerary, I'm coming across lots of names that I didn't know, so I just started Googling them. 
and again and again, it's jaw-dropping scenery that comes up when I'm pulling up these locations. Places like Rotura, Cathedral Cove, Mount Aspiring National Park. The full itinerary is on the website. Again, I'll put a link to that right down below, but take a few moments, poke through, take a look. This looks to be an amazing opportunity in January, February, especially here for us Vermonters. It's a wonderful time to get away. It's summertime down there, and the light is just going to be gorgeous with these long days and long golden hours late in the evening. Really looking forward to this trip and hope some of you will join us. Now this next trip, I'm not sure if Christina and I will be able to join because of our schedules, but it is coming up much sooner, and that is baby animals in June. This is early June. I'll put the dates down below as well. We just got done with working with these animals in Animals of Montana group, and this is who you're going to go back to. But this time, primarily photographing some baby animals, but of course still, they'll bring out the big ones too, including the tiger and the grizzly and maybe something else. But take a look at this video as it's running here. Some just so cute. I mean, very, very cute baby animals. And it's not just all about the animals because there is also an opportunity in this trip to take a helicopter tour up on top of a glacier and then photograph animals up there. So you have this background scenery of these rugged Montana peaks and it is gorgeous out there with some amazing animals right there in this scene for you. Now, I was with David and Troy of Animals of Montana as they were starting to put this tour together and listening to what this normally costs is expensive. But because of David and Troy's relationship and how long they've been able to work together, they were able to get the price down and putting these two things together becomes really an affordable, amazing experience. So again, that's something else that you should check out. I don't know if Christine and I will be on that trip because of our schedules, but it's still gonna be an amazing trip and a lot of fun. Other trips I just wanna tell you about briefly, Yosemite in May. This is primarily to photograph the moon rainbow that happens from Yosemite Falls at night when it's lit by the full moon. Some of that, of course, is weather dependent, but again, during the day, Yosemite, I hear from many people I've actually never been, is one of the most amazing places that many people have been in, one of the favorite places they've ever photographed. So, and so that should be an awesome opportunity as well. Can't make it in May, and I believe there's only one spot left for that Yosemite trip. There will be another one in the fall for the fall colors. Again, gorgeous half dome, yellow aspen leaves, really, really pretty. And speaking of fall foliage, there is going to be a tour in early October right here in Vermont. So a Vermont fall foliage tour. When you think of New England and fall, Vermont should be the state to come, that comes to mind. We have some beautiful scenery here and I'm really excited for folks to come from all over the U.S. and the world possibly and experience that with us. That tour is still in the works, so again, just sign up for the newsletter right down below and get all of these details firsthand. Another trip that is in the works that I want to put in your mind is Alaska in December. Now, why would anybody go to Alaska in December? I've got one answer for you, the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. Some amazing picture opportunities. It's going to be cold, but I am certainly willing to sacrifice my fingertips to get amazing pictures of the Aurora Borealis. And I could, of course, just put on a good pair of gloves. So those are some opportunities for you, for you to join Christina and I in the future. If you've got any questions, comments, just leave a comment right down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye -bye.